In this video, we'll be going over square root of x. Given a non-negative integer x, compute and return the square root of x. Since the return type is an integer, the decimal digits are truncated, and only the integer part of the result is returned. So in our first example, we have x is equal to 4. The square root of 4 is equal to 2, so we just return 2. In our second example, we have x is equal to 8. So output is 2 because the square root of 8 is 2.82, so we remove the decimal part. Um, we, should, we can also think of this as we have 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and 4 is still less than 8. But if we have the next number, 3, we have 3 times 3, we get 9, and 9 is greater than 8, so we cannot pick 3. So let's first go through a thought process. The square root of x is in the range of 0 to x divided by 2 plus 1. Since our range is sorted in ascending order, we can implement a binary search approach. A binary search approach to find the target value. So for each of the mid value, we will calculate the square of mid. And square just means mid times mid. So square is equal to mid times mid. So if square is equal to x, then we have found our target value. Then mid is our is the target value. If square is less than x, then square may or may not may or may not be the largest square that is less than x. So, so we will need to search rightward with mid inclusive. If square is greater than x, then we will need to search leftward. For example, if you have three, and then three times three is equal to nine. Nine is, is greater than x, so we need to search leftward. Search leftward from mid minus one. Now let's go over the code. Uh, it is the code. So create two variables. Left the current left boundary initially zero, and right the current right boundary in the initially x divided by 2 plus 1. And then while and then we're going to perform our binary search while left is less than right. Calculate the mid index. So mid is equal to left plus right minus left divided by 2 and plus 1. The plus 1 just picks the upper mid value. So example we have the current elements is 1 and 2, we will pick 2 instead of 1. So calculate the square. Square is go to mid times mid. And then if square is equal to x, then we can return mid. Else if square is less than x, we will need to search rightward with mid inclusive right here. Um, if square is less than x, then square may or may not be a larger square that's less than x, so we need to search rightward. So left is go to mid. Else we need to search leftward. And then we can return left, which will be the largest square that is. Uh, which f times left will be the largest square that is less than x. Let's go do the time and space complexity. So time complexity is go to O of log of x, where x is the input value. 
minor search. And our space complexity is go to 0 form. Now let's go do the code. Create our boundaries. We're gonna cast it to long to prevent overflow. One, and then while left is less than right, calculate the mid. Calculate the square. This is the part where, where we prevent our overflow because we're squaring a, a value mid. So if square is equal to x, then we can return our current mid value, but cast it back to int. And then else if square is less than x. Then we search rightward with mid inclusive, else we search leftward. And then we can return um, left, but cast it to int. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.